Hi, welcome to Saffron Trail Kitchen. So we all love sambar, be it with rice or with idli and dosa. But sometimes we just don't have the time to make an elaborate version of it. So today in my kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make a real quick version using shortcuts. So let's see how we go about it. So we're going to start making the quick version of sambar now. A pan on heat, a little bit of oil. While we wait for the oil to heat up, we just get our stuff for the tadka ready. So some curry leaves, some mustard seeds and some fenugreek seeds. We can also take in a dried red chilli. Just add it to the hot oil with a pinch of asafoetida or heel. So once the mustard seeds crackle, we're going to add the cooked pumpkin pieces. Some water. I'm going to add some water to the ready tamarind paste. So this saves us time in making the tamarind extract from scratch. And to this I'm going to add some ready-made sambar powder. So we are mixing it in the water and not adding it directly to the pan so that there are no lumps. Mix it well. Add it to the pan. We allow this to simmer for a minute. You can add the salt. And some bit of turmeric powder. We have some cooked and mashed tuar dal here. I have a video on how to cook tuar dal in the pressure cooker. Do check out the link. Now the pumpkin has been simmering in the tamarind and uh, sambar powder extract. So at this point, I'll add in the dal. So I'm just going to do a quick taste of this to check how salty or sour it is, if it's okay. Seems fine, so I'm just going to remove it into a serving bowl. So our super quick version of pumpkin sambar is ready. This is like a saviour for any of the leftover vegetables in your fridge. So be it some piece of brinjal or some bhindi or any other vegetable, feel free to add it to this sambar. So if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, leave a comment for me below and do stay subscribed to Saffron Trail.